Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a little vlog, probably gonna vlog the next few days. I haven't filmed a video in over a week and I kind of feel like I forgot how to vlog, but we're back, we're better than ever. <laughs> I took a break from filming, not uploading because I had a bunch of videos pre-filmed, but I just felt like I needed like a mental reset. So that's what I did and I'm feeling really good. So I'm really happy. This morning was already really productive. It was so fucking beautiful out. It still is. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful day. It's very warm. I feel like summer is coming. Like I feel it and I'm so excited. I have like so many things that I wanna do and so many video ideas I wanna film in the summer when it's nights out. I have an event for Murad tonight in the city. A bunch of my friends are going, so I'm really excited to go and see them. And it shall be fun. Cute little event. So I'm gonna do my makeup right now on TikTok Live because I'm really in the mood to go live for some reason. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, let's have let's have a good week. Cheers to a good week. Today's Tuesday and low key like yesterday and today I've just been editing really. Like yesterday I spent all day editing, but like I just feel kind of out of it, but like I'm good, but like weirdly felt out of it this morning. So let's turn let's turn this week around and have a good week. Okay. Love you. I'm using flawless filter. I just use flawless filter instead of foundation most of the time. Did I do anything about my haunted apartment? I prayed and I was like, get out of my apartment, please. Um, and nothing has happened. <laughs> I'm really not scared. I know a lot of dead people, so I feel like they would not allow me to get haunted. And I know that sounds really crazy, but it's true. They would not let that happen. Are any of you guys going to the Taylor Swift concert. I'm so excited and I think I want to dress up for it like in one of the eras. I just ordered two dresses the other night because I don't know if I want to do 1989 or Fearless. I didn't even like think about dressing up for it and then I kept seeing like TikToks of all these girls and they're like cute little eras outfits and I was like, okay, that's so fun. I want to have fun and do that. I love you too. My favorite Taylor Swift album, probably. Fuck, it's so hard. And I have really good seats. I'm excited. My under eyes are so fucking dark. I want to meet Taylor. I love her. Any exciting summer plans? I have a really fun trip planned for May. Well, I have my cousin's bachelorette party in June. I think I'm going to go to Arizona in June too. See Avery. So I'm really excited for that. Am I gonna go anywhere besides Paris? I don't know, we're gonna try, I think, to do like some day trips. Getting ready kinda early, but I love getting ready early. Like if I don't get ready way early, I get so stressed. This coffee is really fucking disgusting. <laughs> and I keep drinking it. Glitter makeup or sex. I'm so excited for summer, like you guys don't even know. I just finished getting ready. I can't decide which jacket I wanna wear, so. Here's the base of the fit. I have on this tube top from Threada. These jeans are from Revolve and then seat that in little booties. So first I had on this, which I think is very cute. I just can't decide which one I like better or which I feel more confident in. Okay, this is what it looks like. Unzipped. This is by the brand Lala, which is Lala Anthony's brand, but I don't think that it's a thing anymore, so. But it also looks good when it's like a bit zipped. So this is this fit. You can also do this jacket, which I also got on thread up. Earlier I was leaning towards the green one and now I'm kind of leaning towards this because I think it looks cool. But then again, I feel like the green one's a little bit more flattering but I legit cannot decide. I don't know guys, I wish that you could tell me what to do because I don't know. But Sam and Donna are going to meet here and then we got Uber codes from Murad. So we're going to Uber together into the city from here. So yeah. Okay, final verdict. I think I'm gonna do this just cause I feel like I've worn the red one way more. So this is what I'm going with, okay. 
I am all of a sudden really tired. I like hit a wall, but I'm waiting for the girls to get here and then we're gonna go and we're gonna have a great time. Yay. <laughs> my lady. My mom. <laughs> my woman, my old woman. We <laughs> just discovered. <laughs> Guys, look at how cute this little market is that the event was like in a room upstairs. And it's so cute down here. I had no idea this even existed. It's so cute. And there's a bunch of restaurants and like this cute little market. How adorable. We're going to eat at a pizzeria called Jafara Pizza right now. And apparently it's really good. I just got home from the event. I immediately put on comfy clothes. I don't know why I was so exhausted tonight and I just felt out of it. I feel like sometimes events, I've talked about this before, but sometimes events are just so overstimulating and I feel like I don't even know how to communicate and it's like so weird. I don't know, it's just like a lot in one room and when I'm already like anxious, it just like heightens everything. So I don't know, but it was a good event nonetheless. And I love Murad as a brand. So like, I was so excited to be there. So this is a little goodie bag we got, which I love the little bag that I came in. We got Resurgence Retinol Youth Eye Masks. I'm so excited to try those. This is like their whole little collection that I think that they just came out with. The Resurgence Retinol Youth Serum overnight treatments and wrinkle corrector honestly i need this stuff because i feel like my under eyes have been creasing and have gotten a lot of lines underneath them and i'm not having it i don't like it i really blame it on my younger self because i used to have terrible seasonal allergies and i would rub my eyes like no other and i swear it gave me wrinkles premature wrinkles so yeah anyway i'm going to take my makeup off and i will be in bed reading this book i am obsessed with this fucking book oh frankie doesn't want me to talk anymore frankie's done she has the whole bed and she decides to walk right in front of the camera but this book is so good the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i feel like i'm so late on this i feel like everyone already has read this but it's so good i literally like can't put it down like i'm i stay up at night to read more and more of this book it's so good I'm like almost halfway through i love it so yeah okay i'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Kisses. <laughs> Hello, it's been quite the day so far. It's Wednesday. It's very fucking gloomy out and I am feeling gloomy myself. I don't know what the hell's going on guys, but like recently I have just been getting in the most like aggressive funks like known to man. Like I can't get out of them. Like, I just feel so out of it. I feel, like, just terrible, and I hate it. Like, I just want to feel like myself, and I feel like I haven't felt like myself in so long. <sighs> and I don't know what the hell's going on, but I need to pull myself out of this little funk of the day because I have work to get done. I was just editing a little bit, and I have to shoot some pictures for Aussie that are due today. So I'm going to shower and get myself together right now to shoot these pictures and i hope that that honestly like makes me feel better because i feel like sometimes when i like get myself ready i just feel like in a better mindset i also really need to clean my apartment i feel like that will also really help i was supposed to go out tomorrow night i was supposed to go on a date a second date and i just canceled on him because <laughs> i just like i don't know i feel like I need to get my apartment together and I feel like that's gonna really throw me off because I'm also going home this weekend for Easter so like I just don't have the time so I canceled I don't know why I'm telling you guys this okay I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna get work done okay I just finished doing my makeup and I got my pictures for Aussie I'm about to go through them and send in which ones I want to post I feel good that I got that done, but I still am in like such a weird funk. I might go to Target with Kiara right now. I think it'll be good for me to like get out of the house. 
but i don't know guys i really don't even know what the hell is going on but i just feel so like i keep like disassociating like i'm i don't know i feel really fucking off so i'm just trying to take it really slow today i just put on this comfy little fit to go run to target i need to pick up a couple things At home from Target. We just did a quick little Target run. I got a couple of things. I needed almond milk, espresso, English muffins. I got this fabric pet odor fighter. I feel like that will be good because the cats stink sometimes. I got a shower cap. I don't know why I've never had a shower cap. I always just like put my hair in a bun and hope for the best when I shower and don't want to get my hair wet. So now I have a shower cap. And then I just got three of these like overnight oats situations by the brand mush it's the vanilla bean ones i think they're really good and i like add cinnamon in it and it's good and then i got the elf halo glow which i'm so excited it's like apparently a dupe for the flawless filter so i'm excited to try this out that's everything i got i'm gonna put it away and probably eat dinner because i'm starving and i also want to go to the gym so i'll probably eat and then go do that and get 12 through 30 in i have a bunch of pr so i want to do a little pr haul right now and then i'm going to go to the gym those little hairs are pissing me off. <laughs> it's like a little sprout. Anyway, first I got a package from Loctane. I think that's how you say it, Loctane. I love their stuff. They have really good skincare. So first I got this milk concentrate. I think it's basically like a body cream. Or is it for your face? Yeah, no, this is a body cream. I'm so excited. Their packaging's all so like bougie and nice. I'm really excited to try this. Also the little bag that they sent it all in, like so fucking cute. I love it. And then they sent this overnight serum. I'm excited to try that. And then they sent both in. Oh, these are refills. Wait, that is so nice and smart. Okay, so whenever I finish these two, I have refills for them. That's amazing. Then I got this bottle of tequila from the brand Jaja, or is it Haha? I think you pronounce it like, I don't really know. Whatever, but I'm really excited. And they sent little cups and stickers and cute stuff. I'm excited to try this. I'm a tequila girl, so that's really fun. From Naturium, I really like their lip balms. They sent this. How cute is the little packaging? It's their BHA liquid exfoliant. I like liquid exfoliants. They're really good, so I'm excited to try this one because all of their stuff is like amazing. Next, from Noah the Label, I got this really pretty necklace and these cool little like snake earrings. These are so cute. I love this brand they have really really nice and beautiful jewelry then this one i'm so excited for this is from nars every time i get a pr box from nars i just scream a little bit because like what the fuck nars is easily one of my favorite makeup brands ever so the fact that they send me stuff like just surreal so this is their laguna collection which laguna is also like my favorite bronzer so i'm excited to try this stuff first they sent a little lip balm in shade laguna I already have this in orgasm, so I'm excited. It's just like a very thin bomb. Cute. And then they sent two quad eyeshadows in Laguna and Laguna Sunset. Here's Laguna. And this is Laguna Sunset. It's so sparkly. I'm really excited to play around with that. And then they sent two bronzing creams in two different shades laguna 2 and then laguna 4 so one's just like a little bit darker but i'm so excited i've seen so many other brands come out with cream contour like this where it's like in the pot so i'm really really excited to try this out and then the last package i have is from the outset oh they said thank you for having such nice things to say about the outset in your recent youtube video here are some more products to try out i really do love their stuff so they first sent the Gentle Micellar Antioxidant Cleanser. The Night Cream. It's a restoring niacin... Can I speak? Niacinamide. There we go. Night Cream. Excited. This is their Nourishing Squalene Daily Moisturizer. This is their Boosting Oil. And then lastly, they just sent their Eye Cream, which I'm really excited. I'm so excited to try all of this stuff. Their stuff is just very like clean also the packaging is so nice i love when it's like a glass packaging it makes it feel so luxurious so yeah i'm really excited to try all of this stuff out thank you to all of these brands for sending me stuff i love trying new products and it's just so fun so yeah i want to start making more tiktoks when i get new products and like showing everything so definitely keep an eye out for that
but yeah i'm gonna go walk to the gym now do some 12 3 30 hopefully it clears my head further getting out definitely helps a little bit I'm going to target but i still am just like in such a funk i think it really has to do with the weather i feel like whenever it's just gross out i just feel i don't know i just get so in a funk so we're gonna go to the gym it's gonna be great let's go staring out the window reaching for a north star waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms dancing to the welcome back to emergency call welcome back how are you feeling this week what's up i had the two of you all right. the time but i always went to the gym too happy thursday i woke up so fucking late today you don't even know how angry i was when i woke up but i couldn't fall asleep last night until four in the morning i don't know why i was so anxious and i was just tossing and turning until 4 a.m so i ended up sleeping in so i've just been like getting this podcast edited because i want to post it today so yeah uploading a podcast about body image I think it's really important. It's a really good episode. So if you guys haven't listened to my podcast, it's with my mom. It's called Emergency Call. And yeah, I'll have it linked down below. And I really am liking this episode. So I'm almost done with this. Gonna get that up. I finally feel good. I like woke up today. I did wake up late, which pissed me off. But I woke up today in like a good headspace. Like I feel like last night was a full moon. I think that that's what my issue has been something i knew something was going on because i was like so anxious and like sad i literally kept like crying about nothing um but i woke up today feeling like a new person and i'm like ready to get my life together so that's great okay i got the pod up and i just ate lunch and now i'm about to clean because my apartment is a mess i've just let it get so gross this week i have not had it in me to clean so we're gonna get it done today my whole living room area is just not looking good i have like packages everywhere my dishes are piling up so we're just gonna get this all cleaned and finally put this away and i have a ton of laundry i need to get done so i'm just gonna put on my headphones and get this shit done i'm over it i'm over living in filth i need to get everything organized couple more frames to my wall i put this picture of me and my nana and i think it's so fucking cute i got that frame at target i need to add like something else up here i want it to be like way bigger like i'm not done yet but i think that that looks good and then i added this mini frame down here with a dried up rose in it so yeah pretty cute and i also cleaned up here i need to take out these boxes and i started doing my laundry so yeah now i'm gonna go to the gym and do 12 3 30 i just got ready so cleaning break let's go work out i'm walking to the gym right now and it is so freaking warm out it's finally becoming like consistently warm which i'm so excited about but it also feels like it's going to storm so wish me luck i got home a little while ago from the gym and i'm drying some clothes have the dryer going 
and more clothes I need to do. I have like a toxic trait of leaving my clothes to pile up for like two weeks and then I just have to do like two weeks worth of laundry at once and it's terrible. So I need to stop doing that. But we're gonna do our co-pilot workout now. And it is leg day. I really am not in the mood to do this right now, but I'm going to and then we're gonna shower. Happy Friday. I spent the morning cleaning, putting away laundry, doing more laundry. I finally have all of my fucking laundry and all fucking like two and a half weeks worth is in there. And I just put away everything I did last night. Feeling spectacular. I need to go right now though. Going to get my nails done. And then right after that, I'm gonna go to the gym. So. Yeah, these are finally gonna get fixed. They look atrocious and I'm bracing myself because I know it's gonna be painful. I don't know what it is about fucking UV gel getting it done on a fresh little nail. It hurts more than a lot of other things I've experienced. It hurts more than getting a tattoo. If you know, you know. Or Honestly, this has never really happened to me before going to this place. So maybe it's just the place and maybe they fucking suck, but whatever. I don't know what I'm gonna get done yet. We'll find out on my walk there. I need to go right now. It's a few hours later. I got home from the gym. I went to the gym after my nails and right when I got home, I started editing today's video. I just finished that, got it up and I'm so happy. I was supposed to post a brand deal today on YouTube so I didn't have another video like backed up or I was like hoping that the brand deal would be accepted and approved because the video got approved. They just needed to approve the description box. But then I realized that the company is in China and with the time difference, like it just was not going to get approved. So got a video done and up so I'm really happy. These are my nails. I decided to just go with a plain color. I didn't feel like getting anything crazy, but I really like how they came out. She did them really cute. I like the shape and the color is really cute. The color is Beachy Keen. Wait a second. Okay, <laughs> I picked out a color called Beachy Keen by Essie, but honestly, this looks nothing like the color I picked. So I low-key think that she put a different color on my nails, but I still like it. So whatever. And I don't know how I'm just noticing that now. But I'm going to do my at-home workout. I'm not going to film that because I feel like I always film it and it's like the same thing over and over again. And then my mom's coming over and we're going to hang out and film the podcast tonight because we normally film on Sundays, but it's Easter Sunday this week. So yeah, she's going to hang out with me tonight. This vlog's also probably going up late, so sorry about that because I have so many videos lined up. So this probably won't be up for another couple weeks, but yeah. Sorry if you guys like hate that. Let me know if you guys like really dislike videos being up like a couple weeks after they're filmed or if you would prefer me to film a vlog and then upload it like quicker. In my ideal world, that's how it would go. But recently it's just been like, I have too many videos pre-filmed. I need to like catch up with myself, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop procrastinating my workout now. Guys, look who's here. My sure. mommy. Hi. We're gonna have a slumber party mm -hmm. and then we're going to record the podcast tomorrow before mm -hmm. we go to Passover. Mm -hmm. My uncle's Jewish, so we celebrate Passover as well. Mm -hmm. Then Easter on Sunday. Yes, we do both. That's not gonna be in this video, but he's here to hang out with me. On this beautiful Friday night. Yeah, we're having a hangout. We're having a Usually hangout I'm home session. by myself on Friday nights. But since you weren't doing anything, I said, I'm going to go hang out with my cutie pie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. <laughs>